So in this video, I'm going to go through the Flutter installation and also how to configure an Android emulator on your PC. And we will run our first Flutter app, both in Flutter web and also Flutter in Android emulator. So first you need to go to flutter.dev. I will link everything in the description so you can just go look there for all the links. We'll go into get started. This guide is for Windows, so I will choose Windows. And I'm gonna go download this zip file. Then I need to go to this site. I need to download Git. I'm gonna get the 64 bit since that's my Windows installation. I will be using Visual Studio Code for Flutter in this guide since that's what I use, use usually. We're gonna go download for Windows. Yeah, and lastly, I'm gonna go download Android Studio. Since we need Android Studio to create an Android emulator, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna wait until everything finishes downloading and then I will be back and we can start the installation. All right, so once everything finished downloading, first of all, I will install Git. I'm just gonna click through it. and wait for it to install. All right, so after we installed Git, we can start extracting Flutter, the Flutter zip. First of all, I'm gonna go into C and create a new folder where I will have my Flutter. I will call it SRC or source. And I will go into my downloads where I have my Flutter zip, which I can extract all. And I will extract it to the folder that I just created on C, yeah, local disk C, and then we have source. I'm gonna extract it there. It's gonna take a while because it's it's a pretty big zip file. Okay, so after the Flutter zip finished extracting, we can go take a look at it. We can go into source, then into Flutter. Here we can run the Flutter console, but uh, I'm gonna skip that for now. I will go into bin. And here I need to copy <clears throat> the path to the Flutter installation. I will copy this. And now I need to add it to the environment variables. So here I will go into edit system environment variables. This will usually ask for your admin password. I will go into environment variables. I will click on path and here I need to create a new one and I will paste my path for the Flutter installation in here. I will click OK. OK again. And with that, we added Flutter to our, our system path. We can open CMD and open command prompt. And we should be able to call Flutter commands from here. So I will try to call Flutter Doctor from here. And as you can see, it works now. Before we edited the environment variables, this wasn't possible. Okay, so it shows that we have a, this version of Flutter. For you, it could be different because you may be watching this video at a different time. But for me, it's Flutter 2.0.4.
and then it will show some other like basically it checks if Flutter is installed correctly. Okay, so we can just close that. I will go I will go again into downloads and I will install VS Code. VS Code is what I use for programming in Flutter, developing with Flutter. You can also use Android Studio, but I personally prefer VS Code, so I will show that. So I'm just gonna click through this. And wait for it to install. So in order to develop well, with Flutter in VS Code, we need to go to extensions. And we need to install the, install the Dart and the Flutter extensions. So I'm just going to click install for the Dart extension. And also the Flutter extension. Okay, so once our Dart and Flutter extensions finished installing, we can go ahead and run our first Flutter app. For this, I would, I usually create a folder uh, for all my Flutter apps. So I will just create a new folder. I'm just gonna call it though, like development. And I will open command prompt. And navigate to that folder. Right now I'm in that folder and I will just run flutter create and then the name of our project so I'll just like first first app just gonna call it first app click enter and wait for flutter to create our first app which is not exactly an empty uh, app it has some like very basic functionality Yeah, so it finished. So we have our first Flutter app created. We can go back into VS Code. We can click here, we can go into File, Open Folder. And then we can navigate there. So local disk. And now first app. And we can create open this folder, select folder inside of VS Code and we get our first app. In Flutter all the code is inside the lib folder. Here you can create subfolders and all that. And right now we have the main the Dart and this is our first Flutter app which is automatically created by Flutter every time. It's just like a basic counter app. And uh, every time we want to run our Flutter app, we can choose which device we want to run it on. And since Flutter 2.0, uh, Flutter can run on web. It could run on web before, but now it's officially supported for web. So in the bottom right corner, you can choose which device you want to run it on. Here I can choose Chrome, Edge or an Android emulator. I will show you how to install that in a bit. For now, I'm just, just gonna choose Edge. You can also choose Chrome. And I'm gonna right click on the main.dart and click run, with, run without debugging. This will take a while. Running an app from Flutter for the first time takes a bit longer every time. And so with that, we launched our, we ran our first Flutter app. This is just the basic one where I can increment the counter. 
and it's running inside of Edge with Flutter Web. If you had any issues trying to run your Flutter app inside of a browser, then there could be many different problems. You can try running it again because that could fix it. Or you can check the description for a Stack Overflow discussion, which covers it. Or you can just not worry about it right now and let's just move on to the Android emulator part and it should work there. So to set up the Android emulator, I will need to install Android Studio. All right, so here I'm just, just gonna click through the installation. Okay, so uh, in my guide, because I don't actually use Android Studio to code Flutter, so I will not be messing around with it too much. I will just use it for the Android emulator. So I'm just going to choose standard. I'm going to go with the dark theme just for the sake of it. And yeah, this is the main installation for Android Studio. This will actually take a while. After that long installation finishes, uh, we are greeted with this screen. For our purposes, we will just go to configure, then AVD manager. And here, uh, your installation process could create one emulator, but if it didn't, then you can go into create virtual device. And you can choose your device, the device you want to use, or you can make your own dimensions for the display. I'm just gonna choose the Pixel 4 XL because that's the one I used in my Instagram videos. When I go next, then I can choose which uh, Android version I want to use. I'm just gonna use the newest one and the one that's installed by default right now. So I'm just gonna go with that one next. In this panel, you can choose how the graphics are rendered. Um, if your machine supports it, you can use the hardware rendering. I'm just going to use it on automatic and I'm going to click, click finish. It will create the device for me. It's created right here. I can run it with the green arrow or I can edit it. I'm not going to actually run it right now because this is inside a virtual machine. So I'm going to go onto my normal machine and run it there to show you how it works. One more thing before we run it on Android, I will go into command prompt and I will run Flutter Doctor. At this point, we should have an installed uh, Android Studio and installed Flutter. And what it says is that Android license not accepted. To resolve this, run Flutter Doctor under licenses. So we will just run this. and we need to accept the Android licenses. And now when we run Flutter Doctor, then everything appears to be okay. Even if there are some issues here, uh, we don't have to worry about it. It is still possible that, it'll, that everything will work, but Right now everything is fixed, so if you have some problems with the Android emulator later on, then make sure the Android licenses are accepted. Okay, so this is my actual Windows installation, and here when I go into configure AVD manager, these are the devices I have currently created on my machine. And I can just run the Pixel 4 XL with the screen button. I can just run it on my screen. As I said, the first time you are starting the virtual device, it takes a bit longer. But for me, I already have it installed, so it should be a bit faster. And it is gonna launch just like this on your screen. And with that, you are basically ready to run your Flutter apps on this device. I will show you that in a, in a second. But do, do keep in mind that if your computer is 
a bit slower or you don't it or if it's like overheating or something then it would be much smarter to connect your phone to your laptop and run it on there but if your ha laptop can handle it then i much prefer running the android emulator on my screen because it is very convenient okay so with that we have our <clears throat> device fully ready you can basically do anything you want with it it's just like your phone you can go on the internet you can download instagram there or do whatever but we will use it with our first app okay so now when we go here uh, into our first app in the right bottom corner we can instead of selecting chrome or edge we can select our device in my case that's the pixel 4 xl in your case it's gonna be whatever you create right and we can select that you can see that it's selected here and we can run start run without debugging debugging and as uh, the same as before the first run usually takes the longest And with that, you run your first Flutter app on an Android uh, device, on an Android emulator, and you can go ahead and start developing whatever you want.